Hi everybody, Gorev here. I was selected to be a mystery shopper for B&M Home with a voucher value of £100 and here is my review. This purchase at B&M Home was this lovely canvas painting. Um, as you can see, it's a city skyline. I believe it is New York. They did have others as I had they had London skyline um, and another New York skyline. But I thought this just sort of went well with my sort of overall white wall and the room. Um, as you can see, it has small sort of crystals, gemstones on there, which when you flash the light against it, it looks like New York City is lighting up. So that's a fantastic bargain at £20. Purchase was these 20 LED sequin heart branch lights. As it's a festive season amongst us, um, I thought this would just look great in a corner of a room or lit up. It comes in a variety of colours, silver, gold and grey, I believe. And it's a bargain at £10. I think this just adds a bit of Christmas magic to any room. My next purchase was this Ava All Glass Mirror. As you can see, it's in a sort of light, sort of dusted gold frame and mirrored frame as well. So it goes, I think it can go with any sort of decor, any room. It's sort of like a Get Great Gatsby sort of filmed um, vibe. It is £34.99. Again, sticking with the Great Gatsby theme, I bought a table lamp which has a sort of a mirrored base. It comes in a variety of colours as well, but I decided to go for white. This was a bargain price at £12, and I just think it adds any sort of statement to any room. My other purchases was this dusted fondant tester, which was £1.49, £1.50 I believe, um, from Dulux. Um, and it's a wall tester, so looking to do our conservatory, sort of thought, you know, have a sort of rose gold sort of theme. Um, this is actually brilliant because I remember, don't have remember from the old testers, they used to be, you know, the, the pots that you unscrew, but here you literally just doop, wipe and roll. I just was a set of four ombre tumblers. I had bought eight of these for a bargain price at seven pounds. Now it comes wrapped in a box like this and there's two glasses which are unwrapped which you can see I suppose for display purposes and two that are wrapped um, and there's a lovely sort of silver ombre sort of colour I think it could be great for cocktails great for soft drinks um, and possibly even stemless wine glasses so that's a bargain price at £7. Um, is this a wonderful luxury baubles which is 40 packs which comes in this blues and greens and silvers which i think goes actually well with my wallpaper so and that's 5.99 you actually get 40 baubles which is fantastic they're all sorts of shimmeries and and glass ones there are plastic and matte ones so it's fantastic you're a sucker for the impulse buys close to the till these were fantastic little stocking fillers i thought milky bars smarties um chocolate figurines with, they have the Smarties in them, and I think this, these are great for any sort of children as a stocking filler. And these were 15 pence each. Yes, that's right, 15 pence each. Um, I was at the till, and my cashier had told me to um, perhaps try one of these, and I thought, you know what, yes, I think I will. Um, great little stocking filler, especially for the festive season coming up. So I had visited the Leytonstone branch, which is the double-storied branch, which is like one of the slightly bigger versions of B&M Home. And I went around 7.30pm um, on a weekday evening, um, and there was ample of space of parking, even though it was quite dark and drizzly outside. Um, I feel the shop front was quite well lit. It was quite noticeable that you could see, you know, the big B&M logo. Um, there was um, public bins there. But there was no trash around there. Everything was in the bin. Um, it was very clean and very, very, very sort of tidy. So I walked in um, and the layout is just generally the same as all B&M homes. Um, they have, you know, different aisles for the seasonal, for food, for furnishings, for stationery, etc. So I thought that was fantastic because everything is very well labelled and um the signs are right at the top so you can actually see what you're looking for and they're in big sort of white font um, against a blue background which was quite nice. Um, generally the look of the store was very tidy um, there was three to four staff members potted about who were doing different sort of tasks um, some were stocking the shelves so there was no sort of gaps I saw going round. I think um, there was a small gap um, 
in the wrapping paper section but that's it i didn't see anything else um other than that um and yes so two members were sort of stocking the shelves and um, one member was on the till and there's another member or staff who was actually upstairs um on the top floor um where in the top floor is where they keep all the sort of diy the furnishings um etc sort of like you know, tools, the bigger sort of furniture, so like chest of drawers, etc., um, mirrors, clocks, rugs, etc. So, and with downstairs is the other sort of sections. Um, as I said, the general layout of the store was fantastic. It was very easily sort of noted. Um, I was very, very impressed with the staff members' um, ability to help. Um, I had asked a certain price of a product, which I couldn't see the price. Um, so the lady kindly went downstairs to find the price and actually direct me to similar products, which I thought was great because, you know, she was also upselling um, another product to me, um, you know, giving me different options, um, which was really good. Also, I feel that the special offers were highlighted very well and they actually were in a bolder colour. As I was mentioning about the special offers, um, I think they were fantastic because they were actually in a different colour. So it's easy to distinguish what was on special offer and what wasn't. And another thing I actually liked was it was on a separate shelf. So it's quite easily accessible. So you have the non-offers and you have the special offers. Um, as the building is two storeys, it has a lift. Um, so the lift actually is quite small, what I found. I'm, I'm a big guy. I'm a six foot tall guy. And unfortunately, I don't think two people and myself would have fitted in the lift. So it was just myself and a trolley. However, it did confuse me a little bit because the lift actually said for disabled persons only. And I did ask a staff member if I could use it and they said, yes, I can. So that was a little bit misleading because if you have a trolley full of shopping, what are you meant to do? If this lift is designed for a specific use what are you meant to do what is the you know av average person meant to do um so that's what i found a bit confusing but the general layout of the store was fantastic everything was easily accessible there was no sort of you know big sort of forklifts or anything in front of the way of people stocking shelves there was no ladders there was no safety hazards it was very clean all the lights actually were working so there was no light bulbs out of place etc um, and overall the, the staff were very very friendly especially my till cashier he was very helpful in the fact where he would upsell me the chocolates, what you saw earlier. Um, he helped me choose the sort of paint, what you saw earlier, etc. So that was really great. Um, I think B&M Home is a fantastic place for anyone to go shopping. And I believe um, that, you know, for the Christmas season, for the festive season, it's it's a brilliant place. So get yourselves down to B&M Home. And I just really want to thank Product Testing UK for giving me this opportunity of being a mystery shopper. Thank you very much and a very Merry Christmas to you all.